So I wanted to do a quick video on what to do if you are unable to pay your bills. So we all find ourselves in this season where this global pandemic is ongoing and a lot of people are truly struggling, especially when it comes to their finances. And I've been getting a lot of questions about what to do if one is unable to pay their bills. So I wanted to get into that and just share some tips to help you if you find yourself in this position where you might be struggling to pay your bills. Before I get into those tips though, I wanted to mention that as our small way to support our community going through this season, we have decided as a company to make all courses on Clever All Finance free for right now. So if you're in that space where you need help to create a plan for your finances, you're trying to figure out how things work or where to start, head on over to our website. All our courses are free. All our worksheet, worksheets are free. And you can also join our community to get that support that you need during this difficult season. So if you're unable to pay your bills, the number one thing you want to do is to prioritize what's most important. And this means prioritizing your essentials. And your essentials are your food, your housing, your core utilities, any medication that you need, and transportation to work. And so start to think about what you can do to ensure that you're able to pay for those bills first and foremost before you do anything else. The second tip is that you want to cut back on your non-essential spending as much as you can. Your goal here should be to stretch your dollars as far as possible. So what things can you do? What can you meal plan from your pantry? Can you switch from brand names to generic names? What are certain things that you have in your budget that you can do without? You want to start thinking about ways to cut back aggressively on any non-essential spending. And for a lot of people, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions about sales going on and online shopping. And to be honest, if you are struggling with paying your bills, then that online shopping and those sales, they will always be there. But now is time to focus. Now is the time to focus on cutting back on your non-essentials and prioritizing your core essential expenses. When it comes to your debt, it's okay to just make the minimum payments on your debt. I know that for many people, you may have been in an accelerated debt payoff plan that you created, either a snowball or an avalanche approach that you were taking to pay down your debt. But in this season where you're struggling to pay off your bills, just focus on making your minimum payments if you can. If you find yourself in a space where you cannot even make your minimum payments and you're struggling to pay your other bills, make sure you communicate with your lenders, your service providers, and etc. Don't assume that they know you are going through financial difficulty. Make sure you pick up your phone, you go online, and you let them know your situation. In this season, many of these lenders and service providers are being accommodating, which means they are deferring payments. They're allowing you to get into payment plans. Many of them are delaying transfer transferring accounts into collections. So you want to communicate with them and let them know the difficulty you're facing so you can get yourself into any of these available programs or deferment plans that they have made available. As a quick add-on to this video, if you need to leverage credit to pay your bills or to purchase essentials right now, you want to be intentional about your spending, which means you only want to spend what you need. And then during this season, you can create a plan to pay back that debt for when things get back to normal. So if you have to use credit, then just make sure you're being intentional and then you create a plan to pay it back. Five, you want to get creative to increase your income or figure out how you can create multiple streams of income. So what skills do you have that you can monetize? What things do you have in your home that you can sell, things that you no longer need, or your kids have outgrown that somebody else may find valuable? It's all about getting out of your comfort zone in this season. Keep in mind that it is perfectly fine to work at a job below your skill set if you need the money right now. So if the only kind of jobs that you can find are below your skill set, then it's okay. Sometimes you have to, you know, do what you need to do to accomplish the things you're trying to accomplish, which in this instance is being able to pay your bills. So these are just a few tips to help you come up with ways to navigate this season if you're unable to pay your bills. However, it's all about just really, you know, focusing on what you can do to help you continue to make progress and avoid feeling like you've made all these mistakes, avoid throwing the pity parties, and definitely avoid telling yourself that you're a failure. There is a lot of judgment going on around in this season right now about what you could have done, what you should have done, what you didn't do, and many people find themselves in situations where they cannot pay their bills for many reasons. Some people were just starting their financial journey. 
some people had some serious you know medical issues or life issues that prevented them from putting money aside whatever your situation might be that is fine assess the situation take the lessons but now the last thing you want to do is stay stuck in this space where you're like woe is me woe is me and instead you want to focus on what can i do next what is that one small step i can take to help me keep moving forward so that i can overcome this difficult situation so i hope you guys have found those tips helpful and again like i mentioned all courses on clever all finance are free for right now so head on over to the website we also have a ton of content on the blog on the podcast and also of course here on the youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you soon